So, hi folks. Uh, my name is uh, Dilip D'Souza and I'm a writer. And my most recent book is with uh, Joy Ma. It's called The Daily Wallas. Um, but today I just want to spend a few minutes reading to you from one of my one of my favorite passages from a very interesting book called On the Res by a man called Ian Fraser. Quickly, I want to tell you that res refers to reservations. So this is a book about Indian reservations, American Indian reservations in the U.S., and particularly the uh, Oglala Sioux reservation, um, Oglala Sioux people, uh, who are on a reservation called the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. And it's about his long-time friendship with one of these people, a guy called Lee War Lance. Uh, Lee is spelled L-E. I'm presuming it's pronounced Lee, but maybe it's Le. I'm not sure. But anyway, so this is a story about his friendship with that this man and and being on that reservation. So this this is a story about how he went with Lee once to this reservation to the Pine uh, to the Pine Ridge Reservation. And here is what Ian Fraser writes: We drove back towards Oglala. Lee had Lee said he had a tank that someone had stolen from him in a field nearby. He directed me to turn off into a dirt road which the morning's blizzard had turned to muck. At a place where the road led up a steep embankment, I got out to reconnoiter. Not only was the road muddy and slick and furrowed with small gullies, but its grade slanted down toward the downhill side. I walked to the top and concluded my car couldn't make it. As I turned to go back, several dogs at a house beside the hill saw me and set out for me at a run, barking and growling with their teeth bared. I walked quickly but did not run, fearing to enrage them further. I calculated that our paths would converge just about at the car. I was a few feet from it and they were a few yards from me when Lee heard the racket, stuck his head from the car door and growled a word at them in Sioux. His growl was throaty and loud like that of a dog much bigger than they. The dog stopped so fast they left skid marks in the mud and then ran yelping back home. The word Lee had said to them sounded familiar. I asked him what it was. He said, I said to them, Wahampi! It means soup. And then I remembered it was the word that he'd used for the soup that we ate in his apartment in New York. He went on, Dogs on the reservation know the word Wahampi because they know they might end up in some soup themselves. Eat a dog once in a while, it teaches the other dogs a healthy respect. So that's what I want to read to you and have fun with all your reading, whether in times of Corona or any other time. Bye. <laughs>